And what is another teaser from SafeMoon? We have now a couple extra letters that have been added in for this puzzle. Many have been thinking that this was a hangman puzzle, and that was myself included because it's just common sense. It looks like it's a hangman puzzle, but apparently it's not. So what does that mean? That means that some of the letters that we're seeing here, such as the O, if you were to spell out the word safe moon in traditional hangman, you would also put the O's there, so it fills in much more of what's presented. However, that's apparently not the case. So I've got information on that, as well as what I think this could mean, and I've got some great news. I think this is still pointing over to KuCoin. I'm gonna share why in just a second. Just before I do get into that, I wanna let you guys know, again, I'm not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to go do your own research. With that being said, let's go ahead and get on into this. So Venno, who is a SafeMoon moderator, for the Safe Moon Discord, he said, What is blue now may be green later. Hashtag Safe Moon, hashtag Safe Moon Army. So it's not just an update of the letters inside of the actual graphic image, there's a message that goes with that. And that's important because that's supposed to lay out some clues. So what we have right now is an eight letter word followed by a three letter word, followed by a four letter word, then a two letter word, and then a two letter word. So some people have been wondering if that O, maybe it's a number, if it's a zero, he clarified that it is not a number, it is a letter. So some other things right here was, is there any repeating letters not filled in? He said, yup. And then another response was that uh, he said, who said it was hangman? So again, it could potentially have more repeating letters. And let's be frank here, the first word is pretty much guaranteed it's gonna be safe moon. Maybe it's something else, but you know, I'm 99% sure on that. Again, not a financial advisor, not financial advice, like, even though it's not financial stuff. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm trying to say that I cannot fully 100% say, that's my point, that that first word is safe moon. I would say I'm 99% sure, 99.99% sure, okay? So what else can we pull away from this? Is that little telescope, that telescope was teased in the past from the SafeMoon team on lots of different Twitter accounts, including SafeMoon's own official Twitter account, in which it was tied to leading up for the hype of the SafeMoon billboard. So I mentioned this previously, and I still stand by this. I think that that telescope that he's presenting in here is suggesting to look up, to look at the billboards. And so with this set of billboards that is over the Express building, uh, located in Times Square, that is airing three times every hour for the next, up to the next year. It's for one year time period, okay? So I think what's gonna happen is that they're gonna update this. What is blue now may be green later. If you take a look at the image, you can see that whenever this little promo comes up for Safe Moon, it's got a lot of the light blue elements for the actual billboard itself. Well, what about green? We've talked about KuCoin. If you look at KuCoin, KuCoin has a very adamantly strong prominent definition of green that's tied in with their logo, their background. You can clearly see it's got a lot of influence with green. So I think that with all the promo work that they've been talking about, John talked about in Discord leading up to them getting ready to announce the next major exchange, I think that this very well could be Safe Moon has come to KC, which would be abbreviated for KuCoin. I'm not 100% on this one, once we get more letters, it might be phrased a little bit differently. Maybe it's a different exchange. But so far, with what we have, this is definitely pointing much more heavily over towards KuCoin. KuCoin had also made a post just recently where they uh, did a little teaser right here. Probably nothing coming soon, January 18th, 2022. The timeline's don't quite match up, which is what's throwing this off a tad bit here. Like this says six and this is actually uh, five days away. That's for the January 18th period. But, you know, it very well still could be. I don't know if they're going to release more than one of these in the same day. They very well could do that. It doesn't necessarily mean it's six days left. It just means that they're going to do six more clue postings. Uh, obviously, we thought that it was Hangman, and it's not Hangman. So they're kind of making up their own rules to their own games. I would have preferred if they would have kept it natural and have been able to uh, done these little teasers in a traditional hangman fashion but maybe they thought that 
by doing so, it would just give away too much too quickly, and that's why they're not doing it. I think that's the most logical reason why that they're not doing it. But if that's the case, then maybe they could have created a different sentence or something. Uh, some people are speculating maybe the three-letter word here on the far right is NFT. It could be. It could be tied to something with the NFTs. I just made a video talking about with uh, the SafeMoon NFTs. There's a lot of evidence that points to its connections over to outer space. You should definitely go check that out if you guys haven't yet done so already. But let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think that it is tied over with KuCoin? And if not, do you think it's for something else? So we'll continue to wait to see how that plays out. FYI, I have an NFT that is for sale. This is up for sale for 1,600,000 SafeMoon. I'll provide a link in the description. I've been doubling the listed price of each of my NFT art pieces. When this one sells, it'll mark the first time that I've sold a piece for over 1 million SafeMoon. To celebrate, I'm giving away three exclusive NFTs that I've created to three different people. So each person will be able to get one NFT. And if you want to check out more details on that, go follow me over on Twitter, at CryptoAtlasYT. You can see my handle here in the bottom left-hand side. I did pin it on my profile. If you could help by hitting like, retweeting, tagging some friends, things like that, maybe we'll be able to get this sold a little bit sooner. So, yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you so much to my Patreon supporters. Double shout-out thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor, Choice Mothers, and 1010 Buns for being higher-level patrons. Also, if you'd like to join that, there is a link in the description for as little as $1 a month. You can be up on that board, too. Thank you to our YouTube members. If you'd like to join that, just simply click the Join button down below. And we do have merch available. There's more info down below on that as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. I would love for you guys to be a part of this awesome community. Click the thumbs up like button. It does help us out with the YouTube search algorithm. If you like this video, share it on social media, Twitter, the subreddit, Facebook, whatever. If you want to have what my theories are on this be put out there, cool. <laughs> I appreciate it, guys. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. Stay awesome. Have a great day or night. God bless. I will see you in the next episode.